133. 133 teenagers. 133 individuals. 133 rebels. We are the class of 2015. And we break the rules. We go against the norms. And we set our own standards. Whether we're channeling our inner thugs to bust out the babies. Or commissioning freshmen to do crazy tasks for our senior signatures. We are always seizing the moment to go beyond the limits. We walked the line between adventure and trouble. Which sometimes ended in us getting hucked for munching on that apple in the ark. Take the bull by the horns. And insist on being different. Never conforming to the world. But conforming the world to us. When the National Honor Society had stayed the same for years, we changed it. When our teachers told us this assignment cannot be completed the night before it's due, we accepted the challenge. When Eugene started to feel a little small, we took to the streets of Europe and explored a world full of new cultures and customs. When they told us it was impossible to win the class dance as mere juniors, we did it anyways and came back to crush the competition the following year. We are spontaneous. Always living in the moment and leaving no room for regrets. The moment we set foot in Marist, we began our journey of discovering who we are. As baby freshmen, we were afraid. Afraid of being rejected and afraid of being too different. We try so hard to fit in. To find our clique. To be someone other than ourselves. We had kissed the M. Sang the fight song between traditional sprinklers. And spent a night locked inside the school. Yet we still thought that being unified meant we all had to be the same. By sophomore year, we began to open up. Peeling away the labels that had been taped to our foreheads. We began to leave our mark on Marist. We packed our bags and grew closer to our classmates on the journey retreat. Thrift shopped ugly sweaters for the winter Sadie Hawkins dance. And successfully terrorized our parents with our new licenses. It was a year of exploration. Our year to define ourselves. Friends were made. And a sense of belonging slowly began to grow. But we are one was still just a group of words painted on the wall. We had yet to understand the significance behind the motto. Then, hitting us like a 10-ton semi-truck came the dreaded junior year. But sometimes it takes a struggle to reveal a blessing. Among the sleepless nights and the mental breakdowns, we discovered what it meant to be a community. What it meant to really be one. Whether we were swapping homework answers at 2 a.m. Turning our teachers into internet memes. Starting the White Wall Wednesday Instagram tradition. Or encountering Christ within ourselves. We learned to fall together and rise together. And now we are the seniors. We are the leaders. The survivors. The adventurers. The millennials. We've reinvented what it means to bleed blue and gold. Representing our student section with crazy themes and I believes. We have grown comfortable with our teachers. Woo! To the point that they're probably more afraid of us than we are of them. The girls have learned how to dress down. And the boys have learned how to dress up. First impressions have been left behind. And last impressions are fast approaching. We have broken records. Saving babies by raising more money for Mr. Spartan. Than any other class before us. We spent one last weekend at St. Benny's. Singing songs and going on hikes on the Metanoia. We have attended class decked out in Halloween costumes. and covered our hallways in Christmas decorations. Our motivation has gotten a sound beating from senioritis. Surviving classes without even owning a textbook. We were barricades in the hallway as freshmen. And became even worse as seniors. We have filled out countless college applications. And received our acceptance letters. Some of us going far away. And others not far at all. We have created our own legacy. For other classes to measure up to. We have lived through all of our high school lasts. We began this year as a class. And we will be ending it as a family. High school isn't about competing. Or blending in. Or how many friends you have. It isn't about being popular. And having perfect attendance. Or even about getting straight A's. Laughing as our classmates lip sync to girls just want to have fun. Driving Ms. Schmidt insane with our complete lack of artistic ability. Tweeting about our homework instead of actually doing it. Selling out all four shows of Alice in Wonderland. Saying yes to a cause we believe in. Hurling snowballs at each other in the courtyard during break. Making a mad dash to hug everyone during the sign of peace at mass. Post football game bazookies at BJ's. Blasting music on a late night drive with friends. Dressing up during homecoming week. 
spending hours at practice before and after school with our teammates. Watching our March Madness brackets go down the drain. Holding on to the hope that maybe this blackout will be the one to cancel school. Standing in front of people's cars as they try to leave the parking lot. Effectively annoying the Life Touch employees with our ridiculous outfits. Dancing like nobody's watching in prom. Learning to lose ourselves in every second. Minute. Moment. Of each and every day. That's what high school is all about. As we look to the future, we will remember our roots. We will remember the place we came from. The community that taught us about family. About who we are. And what we can do. We have left our fingerprint on Marist. And although we will be going our separate ways, we will always be one because we are the class of 2015. I'm gonna need you to raise your glass I don't care what you put in it Here's the nights that you can't take back We live hard but we love to laugh We all thought that we'd get rich fast Hop the plane out for greener grass Found out the green is cash Don't compare to the friends at last See we won't forget where we came from The city won't change us we Find our way back home.